So you'll definitely have some nomenclature questions um, on the exam. So all of these are transition metal ionic compounds, right? Metal with non-metal because they're transition metal, right? Copper is a transition metal, platinum, chromium are all transition metals. We're gonna use our Roman numerals here. We're gonna to need to use Roman numerals here. Um, so phosphate is a polyatomic. So hopefully, right, we know that phosphate, PO4, three minus. So, okay, if phosphate is PO4, three minus, and I have three coppers to balance that out, this must make this, right, copper one, phosphate. The one indicates, right, I've got three coppers at plus one each to balance out the phosphate at minus three. So that one indicates the charge on the copper, nothing more than that. Um, for the next one, we've got platinum, right, and we've got bromide. Bromide is group seven. Everything in group seven has an ion, wants to be minus one. So that must make this all right, platinum must be two plus to balance out the two minus from the bromides. And the last one, again, another polyatomic. So nitrate, NO3 minus one. So the charge on nitrate is minus one. I have five of those nitrates. So the total charge of minus five, right? That would make chromium five plus, All right? So chromium. nitrate. So all three of those, we need the Roman numerals because all three of those, right, are transition metals that have multiple charges. So the Roman numeral indicates the charge. Um, you'll definitely have one with a polyatomic on the exam. And then the others you should be able to figure out based on what it's connected to. So every, all the halogens are minus one, right? Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, they're minus two as an ion. So we'll use that out what the transition metal should be.